Morning guys, how's it going? It's you guys from Kakwat. We're here yeah. with a breakfast episode. Mm -hmm. We've uh, been very graciously sponsored by uh, Douglas from Seeds to Grow. Or Thanks, Seeds to Grow. Yeah. 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 We've got some lacquer hot peppers this morning that we're going to be having on uh, eggs, eggs mm. on toast and mm. uh, with bacon and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, these are the uh, seven pot Trinidad uh, Oh, the name always gets me Barack Paws. Barack yeah. Paws. Same for Trinidad yeah. Barack Paws. Not Omar Barack, but yeah. Not, yeah. Barack <laughs> Obama. Obama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think they come in at a, a, a breezy one million on the scoville. So yeah, we're going to have some. a breezy one. Million. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have some lacquer hot eggs this morning. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so thank you so much, Douglas. Um, yeah, Thanks, bro. really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing our faces as we burn our asses off. Oh yeah. yeah. Stay here for more. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so 
after that amazing cooking session there oh, with yeah. Greg and myself. On bikes. Uh, yes, the <laughs> food. Yeah. And um, yeah, we can dive into it. But obviously, again, thank you so much, Doug. It mm. really I smelled swear. amazing as we put it in the eggs. That fume almost killed my nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking f- day. yeah, exactly. <laughs> looking forward to trying them out. Oh, yeah. But before we begin, yeah. you also gave us a little bit of the powder which is actually just the powder from the seven pot as we mentioned earlier yeah so we're gonna sprinkle More stuff. a little bit on if you can get it if i can get fucking open <laughs> my hands are always sweat yeah. there we go all right cool. yeah, I just so, put a lot on hand, yeah no, so just yeah. a just a sprinkle Ooh. yeah so i got a little bit of a taste just now as well because i was cutting the um the seven pot barack balls and uh, yeah, I just licked my fingers because I handled some bacon and I was like, yo, it was a bit far, man. Yo. So we're in for the full demise uh, within the next minute or so, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to take this. Uh, Paper out, uh, Joe. Yeah. Trinidad 7 pot barack for powder. <laughs> mm. yo. Okay. Yo, okay. I just I sprinkled just, just a, a little bit. Just a little, whoop. Yeah, yeah. whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Just a little bit. Yeah, already got maybe a bit softer because just that uh, everything <laughs> comes up. We already got a lot of seven pot on here, so yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, not not too much, not too much. Yeah, but we do want the extra flavour. It's got that toasty aroma, toasty uh, exactly. flavour. Very very nice, very nice. Did you get sausages, by the way? No. Oh, do you want to get? I thought you took all of them. Uh, no, there was a lot. <laughs> no, it's all good. Are you sure? I'll you grab after you. This is a lot already. Okay. And I'll probably be like <laughs> after it. So yeah. Alright, all right, guys. So basically, the meal prep that we did. Or excluding Greg, we've had um, uh, sausages, cheese mm. grilled sausages, bacon, yeah, cheese, egg, and toast. Toast. So yeah, if you guys want to try this at home, yeah. definitely grab yourself some lacquer lacquerness and um, yeah, yeah. Watch our faces as we burn <laughs> our asses off. So thanks, Doug. Yeah, uh, thanks. You will now see the uh, effect of uh, <laughs> your products. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jump into okay. the first bite. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you like a. Try yeah. the chili there. Mm. Right, first of all, that way. So, look again. Yeah, look I don't know mine will stay on my fault, but there's mm. a little, a tiny one to start there. Alright, yeah, cheers, yeah, bro. Cheers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no. This is going to be intense. Mm. Mm. Well, we started, so now we're going to finish. Mm. Dude, that's intense, bro. Yeah. That's quite hot. That's quite hot. Oh my goodness. And that was just the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got some drinks for emergencies. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never tried Tropical with the, um, anything hot before, but I mm. think since it's dairy based, you know, it, it might help. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so guys, um, while we're going to go chowing, we just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we're gonna be at the um, the market at Art in Melville here in Joburg. So for those of you that know, um, it's Phil's Sauce Festival. Felicity. Yeah, from Yakaranda. So please, guys, come and say hi to us while we're there at the market. Mm. We absolutely would love to see you guys there. Um, to try and come out and taste some of our hot sauces. And then, yeah. Mm. How are you doing there? This is hot, dude. Mm-hmm. My face is heating up. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. Or yeah. in the video. But I feel like I'm getting a bit of a hot flash now. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. yeah, so, just to give you an idea. It's, ooh. <coughs> I'm dying. It's one of these bad boys. Mm. This is the Trinidad 7 Pot Barack Pour. And mm. it looks deceiving. It's like, oh yeah, no, that looks like a, you know, maybe just a gnarly habanero or something. Mm. It is not. Yeah, no. It is not. It is super hot. That rhymes. Yeah. Where well, is the scale scale on this one? So yeah, I think it comes in at, I think just over a million, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I don't have my phone handy, so I can't Google it. Yeah. But that seems, I think it's in that sort of region, yeah. Mm. So it's, it's quite hot. It's definitely hotter than the ghost. Yeah. Definitely hotter than the ghost. Because we chow like um, sliced ghost peppers mm. in a similar fashion, and yeah, this is this is way hotter. Than yeah. Hot. yeah. Mm. Mm. So, <coughs> yo, 
for anyone that wants to know, um, yeah, we've made our own little sauce as well. Greg made his own little sauce, which we'll probably end up taking with to the market day. Mm. So to give you guys tasters, and then yeah, we're also thinking of creating our own little line of cut sauces. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, our sauces will probably end up being more on the hotter range of things because yeah, cut exactly. Yeah. Mm. So Definitely. we probably won't be doing like miles and stuff like that. We'll probably be sticking to the hotter range of hot sauces. But um, yeah, we're absolutely looking forward to seeing your guys' expressions when you taste our sauces as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a little bit of um, the seven pots in there, um, and of course as well. Let's not forget the. Uh, Big pause there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget the um, Ecuadorian Devil's Breath as well. Thanks to Douglas for these two. Mm. So he gave us samples of the seven pots, fresh pots, the powder, and the Devil's Breath as well. Yeah. These are quite a bit hotter than habanero as well, but very fragrant, very good taste. This is excellent for uh, making sauces and that. So I've got <clears throat> a little bit of both of these in my sauce too, mm. which gives it that hectic kind of kick. Jeez, I'm struggling to yeah, talk. Same, yes, yes. <laughs> It's gonna mm. sit in silence and mm. eat now and suffer. And yeah, suffer. Mm. Yeah. This is this is quite hot there, y'all. Yeah. yeah I must say. Mm. And get some. Yeah, my nose is running. Mm. I need to go get some serviettes now. Yeah. Mm. While I do that, you can carry on talking. <coughs> if I can. <laughs> <coughs> this is y'all. The heat level is like absolutely phenomenal. It's like. You know, we haven't eaten this um, too much, so it's like a new thing still. Mm. For me, thanks bro. Cool. For me, you know, like my heat level is, I tried chowing a ghost pepper the other day, just a small one of my little bush outside, and it was like, and <laughs> I had a few drinks as yeah, well, but I, I was, was well funny. anesthetized, you know, and uh, I still, I couldn't handle it. Yeah, no. I know. I came running in the house, milk, <laughs> breathing like a crazy person. So, um, Greg, tell yeah. the people that's watching this, mm. what, like, what tip could you give them if they're just starting to grow, um, mm. you know, starting to grow their own chilies now at home and stuff like that? Yeah. Because we've been growing our own now at the moment. Yeah, we've got a nice little, very emphasis on the little part of it, um, little veggie patch growing. We've mm. got bird's eyes, we've got the ghosts, we've got the habanero. Um, of course, there's more, but going into the season of winter now, you know, I'm actually starting to water my plants less and that get them to winterize properly. I'm seeing the leaves go yellow and that. Um, excuse me. So I'm also trimming my plants down and that, you know, trying to get them to hibernate for the winter. Mm. So the next best bet is, of course, if you want to germinate early and indoors, you can do so. Get your little seed trays, your potting mix, your palm peach, you know. If you want to do it, standard soil mixes if you're going to be planting soil. Um, hydroponics, aquaponics, um, anything like that, I don't know too much about. Yeah. That's where our man Doug comes in. He has an excellent looking farm. Mm. It's actually really beautiful, all of his products and all of his yeah. Um, trees. Um, yeah, he sent us some pictures which we'll, we'll be shooting on screen here and there. Mm. Um, yeah, but obviously the next grow season is going to be starting in spring again. Um, so I plan on keeping my plants and not germinating. I want to see how they do for the next season if I do cut them down. Mm. Um, they always say that you know it's a good head start um, compared to if you're going to be doing germination which you know it's the whole process over again uh, mm -hmm. but i mean we have been saving up a lot of seeds a lot of these seeds other seeds have been collecting pepper juice you know which i will have to germinate yeah in the next season yeah yeah i know so um yeah That's it's pretty it's, cool man. Yeah, yeah. yeah so obviously you know if you're planting now you don't do it indoors because when yeah exactly and winter does absolutely destroy crop Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we're also looking at it growing our own, well, creating our own little greenhouse here at home, mm -hmm. and just like setting up some nice shade cloth with some PVC piping, and yeah, putting some nice shade cloth over. So because yeah, in Joburg we got a lot of hailstorms that come through, oh, yeah. so it absolutely decimates <laughs> the crop. Yeah. So yeah, that's um, why we're deciding to do that. Mm. I remember that one day mm. it was freaking worst hail I've seen I think in the last couple of years. Mm just here in the East Rand, the highway was white. Driving on the highway at 40, you brake and your car just starts doing this. That's yeah. how bad it hailed you. They weren't big, but it was just a lot. Yeah, exactly. And I remember calling Charles and I was like, 
dude, my plants, please protect my plants. <laughs> it was actually a voice note. I sent it to the, the wrong group. complex. Yeah. I sent it to the whole complex. The whole complex knew about my, my struggles with yeah. the hail and my plants. Yeah. So it is a bad thing, hail. Yeah. Um, so I think the greenhouse will definitely protect our flying keys here. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but yeah, guys, so this is pretty much it. Mm. We're gonna survive. We're, not, we're dying, but yeah. we're surviving. It's hot. Yeah, it, is. it is really hot. Um, obviously, like um, you get your more wilder ones, like your reapers mm. and your magma reapers. That's absolutely <laughs> death. Yeah, um, but yeah, for the seven part, I must say, really like it. Mm. It's quite enjoyable actually. <coughs> it's it's probably a bit above my tolerance of yeah. like general food, but mm. great. Yeah, definitely great, guys. Mm. Thank you so much, Doug. Also again. Um, for yeah, for sponsoring this uh, chilies for us to enjoy and to chow with our breakfast today, and um, yeah, guys, definitely check us out there at the market day. Um, yeah, we'd absolutely love to see you there. We're gonna be there with Chili King, so yeah, definitely come and say how's it to us and come and try out the atomic ring sting if you dare. That's it. That's it. Most of that thing. Oh. Yeah, no, that thing. Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, other than that, guys. Uh, from my side, this was highly enjoyable. I'm about to jump into my second one here now oh, yeah. to dive some more. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna finish up here. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning goes well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll check. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah, this has been awesome. Hey? This has been really enjoyable. Like mm. we don't do this stuff often. Obviously, you know, we do the the yeah. show with the nuggets and the sauces. This is a nice fresh approach. Yeah. literally fresh. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, don't forget to check Doug out get his name out in the industry he is a, a new name in the industry but mm. his products as you've seen are absolutely high quality yeah so, yeah don't forget to check him out and yeah and if you guys out. so if you guys need yeah. um some sauces uh if you guys are i mean some sauces some, some chilies peppers. for your sauces yeah. uh, definitely reach out to doug he's got quite a uh, range of chilies that he can offer you so okay. if you're currently struggling because we know everyone is hitting up mood by boss and they can only supply so much here in Joburg. Yeah. So obviously it's better to obviously try and um, expand your distribution channels. So if you're struggling a bit there, reach out to Doug, tune him, hey bro, I need some reapers, I need this or that, and he'll see if he can help you organize. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you are struggling, just reach out to us as well and we'll see how much we can help you, you know, find a new distributor or something like that. Yeah. Or a supplier, shall I would say. Yeah. I um, mean, the plan is also, I mean, to get um, pods by the cage on our side. Yeah. That's <laughs> really catch me. Yeah. On our side. On our mm. side. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the eventualism of it as well. Yeah. Um, of course, we still need to, I think, check Murder Boys out as well. Yes, yeah. We haven't got there yet. Yeah. But uh, Doug is sort of in the area too. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I believe his focus so far is on the seven pots Pots. and the Ecuadorian yes, devil's bed yeah. so far. But he does say he has plans to expand his range. Yes, right? yeah. No, yeah. So, Doug actually um, caters a lot for C&D, which we actually had oh, on yeah. one of the couple episodes uh, back on the show. Yes, and, um, Yeah, so uh, he's currently supplying them mainly, but um, yeah, he's looking to expand his uh, distribution channels as well. So yeah, other than that guys, as Greg was mentioning earlier, please do go check out our socials, hit the subscribe, the follow, the notifications, hit them all, otherwise you guys will be missing our content and missing the amazing South African products oh, yeah. that we are sharing to you guys. So yeah. Other than that, um, yeah, ending shots. Yeah, um, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting, um, yeah, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, one more thing, one more idea that I had, guys, is Ooh. that, I'm not too sure when, it's a possible future idea. We gonna have a pepper challenge with all of the previous guests. I mean, oh, yes. not pepper, sorry, chili challenge. Yeah. With all of the previous guests on the show, so we'll range it from Hab yeah. to Magma Reaper, and um, yeah, maybe start them at like Bird's Eye just to see because some of them, oh, some of our previous guests aren't like super chili fans. Like yeah, yeah, they yeah, they yeah. eat hot sauces, but they won't eat pods. Yeah. You know, so we'll maybe start it off small and then see who taps out. The furthest, you know, the furthest we get along, and then that winner will get maybe a nice little cut cut hamper from us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, good. yeah. So I think that will be quite an interesting one, mm -hmm. and then myself and Greg will have to take part in it. Yeah, because we can't just sit and watch; we have to take part. Yeah, so, it's literally just like ah, yeah, yeah. Death, yeah death, so death. I mean, 
Greg and I, obviously, if we win, we'll let the guest, whoever taps yeah. out the furthest, we'll let them tap out and we'll tap out with them, obviously, because yeah. yeah. I mean, Greg and I've got more experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we say we do, but there's some crazy mofos out there. Yeah, yes. They just try reapers like it's freaking babies can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well. But, but yeah, guys, other than that, catch you in the next episode. <coughs> Cheers. <laughs>